All right, peoples. So, another toy I just bought. I got so many videos, guys. I've been buying some random stuff this last week. Um, I bought some Ryobi uh, toys and stuff, and um, and I obviously bought the screen for my MacBook Pro. I'm um, got a couple other things I got to show you guys. I, I'm so far behind on my videos. I got to edit everything and, and get you guys up to date too. But uh, yeah, I just bought this LG 32 inch monitor. Um, I'll drop the description in the link below if you guys want to check it out and maybe purchase one. I got it for a pretty good price, I think. Um, other than that, I'm going to open it up and see what's inside and let you guys know what to expect from this thing. It almost looks like you can cut it open from here. So I'm gonna try that and see how that goes. Alright guys, so that's pretty much all the content. So it looks like you guys have, if you do decide to get one of these, you guys got the monitor to the uh, tower. Um, this looks like a power adapter. Yeah, this is the power. And that is it. And you got, what, CD-ROM? Owner's manual, fun stuff. Alright, so one thing that I'm noticing that I now need to get is an HDMI cable. I thought this thing came with one, but obviously it doesn't. Um, now I'm hooking it up to my uh, MacBook Pro, so I'm going to daisy chain it. So that is not going to work with that cable, I already know that. I like how these, when you peel these off and the way it sounds, it sounds so weird. It's like a fun sound. Listen to it, guys. Now to the screen. This is a 32 inch, guys. That one sounded nice. Fun fact, um, they definitely left this LG looking, LG 32 inch, LG blah, 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 right outside where the whole world could see that drive down my street. I'm surprised it didn't get stolen. That's amazing. I'm gonna let them know something uh, next time not do that. They left it in front of my drift car. Well, I shouldn't say mine. It's pretty much me and my wife's drift car. I'll show you a video of that when she starts drifting. Oh, and uh, if you guys like cars, my wife's building her prelude. So she's going up against me in the future with my Volkswagen, so turbo. All right guys, so obviously I ran out of memory on my phone. So, what I was saying is, if you guys are into cars, and you wanna see me and my wife go head to head, she's actually building her car up. My car's already done being built. I gotta tweak a little things, but definitely gonna be turbo car versus turbo car, kind of grudge match, you know, if you guys are into that kind of thing, stay tuned for that. It's definitely a Honda Prelude. H22 with VTEC boosted versus my uh, Volkswagen 1.8T big turbo Golf. Should be an interesting race, front wheel drive. Other than that, you guys can watch a video for this screen. Um, yeah, let me see how this stuff goes because this is like obviously oddly shaped. All right, so this looks like it just snaps into here. Oh, it would help if I took that off. Take off the plastic sleeve that's on here, guys, because there we go.
think I did this wrong. All right, so that snaps into there. This has a screw piece on it. So to make life easier, don't do what I was trying to do. Just go ahead and push this on the bottom and then just turn this screw. Wait. It's definitely weird. It says lock and unlock. I'm definitely gonna need a flathead for this, guys. I just use my nail. But when going to tighten it, I know we're gonna have some issues. All right, that's in. It should stand on its own now. Ta-da. So that's it, guys. That's the 32-inch uh, from LG. I'll try to put the link in the description. If you guys want to take a look at the back right here, what outlets you're going to have. Oh, look, another one. So, you got your DC in, you got your HDMI, which that's what I'm going to be using, and you have your D sub, which is pretty much the standard one to hook up to the back of the uh, computer tower, and I guess you got some headphone output that you can put there. Man, these things are all over the place. Oh, uh, that one didn't sound as cool. Woo! I love it. So guys, I'm gonna turn the screen on and I'll show you how it really works. All right guys, so like I said, I was gonna make a video of me turning it on and stuff like that. Um, I just got my Sateki uh, Type-C multi-port adapter. I definitely didn't have an extra HDMI cable laying around so I went to Best Buy and picked one up for like 15 bucks. Um, I'll drop these products in a link below. So if you guys wanna do the same setup, you're more than welcome to. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and open this up. All right, it seems like I'm struggling. All right, let's open that. Security tape. Let's crack this bad boy. All right, guys, here it is. Space gray. So pretty. All right, looks good. It looks clean, elegante. Oh, you know what? You know what I could do for you guys as a special bonus? Because I bought two of these, right? And I only used one. So if you guys want, if you guys can help me get up to 500 subscribers, I'll definitely pick and comment, comment below on the video that uh, you want in on this little raffle. And then... Um, I'm gonna put a link to uh, my Instagram page, and guys, check that out too, and uh, like that as well. And for everybody that's uh, entering in, once I hit 500 subscribers, I'll go ahead and pick a winner for this um, Hyper Get More USB Type C hub. If you guys have a an Apple product or anything like that, um, it's got the multi ports in the back, or well, on the side of it. It hooks up onto the side of the. The laptop it's got the USB-C you got your uh, pretty much your little SD cards and a USB and another USB so two USBs a mini micro SD a standard SD and the USB-C type for the power so I'll go ahead and do that for you guys you know because I got this laying around so I might as well help you guys out if you guys can help me out you know what I'm saying this guy is going to hook up into the USB-C port like so and then it's got a nice little blue light. Look at that, so fancy. All right, so this is the HDMI port right here. And let us hook it up to the back. All right, that's hooked up. All right, now to figure out how to power this thing would be cool. Oh, look at that. Got more buttons down here. Nope, I guess the power button is on the bottom. 
Entering power save mode. All right, so I got to figure out how to do this, and once I figure out how to do my little split screen setup, I will cut this video back on. One eternity later. All right, so I figured out what it was. I was going crazy asking Siri all sorts of crazy questions. Um, that was pretty, uh, I should have recorded that because I lost train of thought in the process of asking her <laughs> if this was an iPad or an iMac and I said, how do I find an i? And I just stopped there and she's just searching for shit. She was retarded. <laughs> Wait, SpongeBob! We're not cavemen! We have technology! It didn't work. But, anyways, it was as simple as unplugging the cable and plugging it back in because I had it powered on. So now it's on. I mean, the resolution isn't like crispy, crispy, but for being a $200 screen, I think it's pretty damn good. And it's 32 inch too, so. The only problem is now I gotta figure out how to like get my little mouse to jump over to that screen. So let's figure this out now. No man, stop being stupid, stupid. Who is this? Or no. All right guys, I'm gonna have to figure this out, but in all, this is the, I have 59%, yes I do. This is pretty much it, this is the screen guys. I mean, if you guys want one, I'll try to drop it in the link below. Um, it is an LG 32 inch. Um, obviously I got the MacBook Pro, the new one. All right, so in the middle of the iPhone, <clears throat> excuse me, the iPhone uh, lost the words. And uh, we're looking at getting an actual vlogging camera guys. So hopefully, uh, that happens soon. I figured it out though, how to get the screen thing to work. So now I got this display over here. Ah, and I could move it over to my little screen. It's freaking amazing. Anyways, um, like I said, subscribe to the channel guys, drop a comment below, and then I'm also gonna link up my Instagram page as well. Go on there and like that and follow me on there. And um, yeah, drop me a comment that you want in for the uh, USB Type-C. And I'll definitely, once I hit that 500 mark, I will be giving this bad boy out for free to one of you guys for keeping up with me and uh, keeping me motivated because I, I like doing this unboxings. Um, I got quite a few more unboxings to do guys, so stay tuned. I'm gonna be releasing those videos. It just takes me a little bit of time to edit these videos, but once I get them going, it's no stopping. So, like I said, stay tuned, like, subscribe, and comment, that helps me out guys. I will catch you on the next one.